Hey guys, today we're taking a look at CivM. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it's short for Custom Input Validation Error Messages. And uh, basically what it does is it allows you to very easily and in line change the default uh, form validation message that's controlled by the browser right now. Uh, so if you're not aware, uh, HTML5 allows you to do uh, client-side validation uh, without any additional JavaScript. Uh, and the issue is, so, so I've got this HTML page here. Let me just uh, set up a quick input. Uh, we'll make this in a type of email, and I'm going to say it's required. Uh, okay, so let me load that up over here in Chrome, and also in, uh, I don't know why it's got that in there, uh, also in Firefox. So here, uh, you know what, I'm going to need a way to submit this, so let's just drop a button here. Go, reload this, get rid of that, reload. Okay, reload it there. So now when I hit go on this, I'm getting this uh, message that says, please fill out this field, and that's in Chrome. When I hit it here, it says, please fill out this field. That's not bad. Over here, now it's going to say, please include the add symbol, yada, yada, yada. Over here, please enter an email address. So those are inconsistent across those two browsers. And what CivM lets us do is uh, create custom messages. So in this one, we've got an email. It's required. Uh, so that's two things. The type of email means, you know, the browser is aware that we're expecting an email address. And the required means it needs to be... Uh, uh, it needs to have some sort of value. So what we can do with CivM is we can tack on these uh, data error message attributes. So error message, and then we kind of just pass in the type of uh, message or the type of error. So this one's going to be value missing. Okay, so that's going to be uh, just all caps required. And then, uh, so let's just check that out really quick. Reload here, reload there. And so now when we do this, we get this required exclamation point. Here we get required exclamation point, much more consistent. Uh, so let's move on to the other error message, which is going to be the type. So error message of value, no, no, sorry. Type mismatch equals, uh, let's say not an email. Uh, let's say not an email address. Arg. Reload that. Reload this. And so now when we type something in, it says not an email address. When we don't have it there, it says required. Same thing here. We've got a required. And now we've got not an email address. Okay, so now it's, you know, the message is consistent. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try another one. We'll use a pattern on this one. So there's our input. It's a type of text. We're going to say it's required. And I'm going to parse this out a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to say pattern equals, sorry, pattern equals, uh, and here I'm going to say I want, uh, so A to Z and then A to Z. So uh, uppercase or lowercase is fine, and then I want two of those. Uh, so now what I'm saying is, and you know, the reason I'm doing that is I was going to make this for state. So a two-letter abbreviation for your state is what I'm looking for. Uh, and if we reload this here, uh, Let's kind of push that on to the next line. Reload it there. Reload it here. So now, uh, of course, we're going to get our validation on that. So at a.com, that's good. Uh, this one is required. And if I put in too many things, it's going to say, please match the requested format. And uh, we'll try that here. So a at a.com is good. And if I go here, it's going to say, please fill out this form. And if I put in too many letters, it's going to say, please match the requested format. Now, what I can do is uh, so of course we're going to have the value missing so let's drop that in there uh, so now we've got this required with an exclamation point on that one and now we'll tap into a different type of error message so that's error message uh, that's a value I think no pattern pattern mismatch equals and so now where it was saying you know uh, match the requested format here I can say uh, only two letters, please. So now if I reload it here, we'll plug in our email to get past that. And now, of course, we get required. And if I put in too many letters, it's going to say only two letters, please. Let's try that in Firefox. So a at a.com. And then too many letters here. 
and only two letters please and same thing if I put in numbers obviously it's not going to match the pattern so only two letters please if I say IL for Illinois boom it submits it and same thing up here if I put in some numbers <clears throat> it says only two letters please put an IL for Illinois and it submits it uh, so that is CivM in a nutshell. There's a there's a handful of uh, other types of error messages you can tap into uh, for you know different types of uh, HTML5 form element validation uh, items. Uh, I think this is really cool. It allows you to normalize the message across different browsers. Uh, and uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.